East Sussex, England, 1993. Car dealer Harry Fuller is at home with his wife Nicola when suddenly there is a disturbance. Harry Fuller is shot in the back, killing him instantly as the bullet passes through his heart. Nicola flees from the assailant, but is shot three times as she runs away. As she crawls to her bedroom, she dials the emergency services, but she is unable to successfully explain her situation as a bullet has shattered her jaw. The telephone operator assumes the noises coming from the other end of the phone are children playing on the line and does not reroute the call to police. A gunshot rings out over the phone. Nicola Fuller has been killed. For such a gruesome tragedy, it is important the perpetrator be brought to justice for their horrific and ruthless crimes. At the murder trial, the jury ensured this was done by performing a seance with a Ouija board and delivering a guilty verdict at the behest of a ghost. Yes, this really happened. Stephen Young was a 35-year-old insurance broker on the verge of financial ruin when he was put on trial for the Fuller's murders. It was alleged that Young was in significant debt and targeted Harry Fuller because he often handled large sums of cash as a car dealer. In the days leading up to the shooting, Fuller was said to have about £13,000 in the house. When police searched the house, they were unable to locate this sum. The very next day after the murders, Young had deposited six thousand pounds into his bank account. Young's voice was also identified on a phone call with Fuller made the day before the murders. In the call, the two arranged to meet the next day. The call was recorded by Fuller, who had just started recording his phone calls a few days previous, although no one knows why. It was alleged that Young had arranged the meeting with Fuller purely for the purposes of killing and robbing him. His car was caught on CCTV entering the area and leaving again about an hour later, and Young did admit to being at the crime scene, saying he had gone to meet with Fuller as discussed on the phone, but arriving at the Fuller's cottage found Harry Fuller dead and fled in fear. He claimed to see a mysterious face in the window of the house as he left, and later received threatening phone calls dissuading him from going to the police. Harry Fuller's body was found to have sugar powdered all over it in what police believe was an ill-conceived attempt to disguise the killings as drug-related. Now, not to play the armchair lawyer or anything, but just taking this info at face value, it seems highly likely that Stephen Young murdered Harry and Nicola Fuller. Evidence links him to the time and place the Fullers were murdered, and his alibi is about as sturdy as a house of cards. And the house is the leaning tower, and the cards are soggy tissue paper. Seems like an open and shut case, right? Well, the jurors apparently disagreed. The 12-member jury was lodged at a local hotel during the trial, and the night before the final verdict was given, four of the jurors were engaged in drinking while the rest slept. They couldn't be sure Young had committed the crime and wanted to be certain if they were going to convict someone to two life sentences. But how could they be absolutely sure? What could provide irrefutable certainty? Well, a drunken seance, of course. They constructed a DIY Ouija board with a pen and a piece of paper and used an upturned wine glass as a planchette. Using the Ouija board, they supposedly contacted Harry Fuller's spirit. When the jurors asked who committed the crimes, the Ouija board provided the answer. Stephen Young. Well, I could have told you that. The spirit demanded the jurors vote guilty the following day. For those unaware, a Ouija board is a supposedly supernatural device with the alphabet printed on it, used to make contact with the dead. Everyone gathers around and puts their hand on the planchette, which is moved by an otherworldly spirit across the board to spell out things in response to whatever shite the dopes using it are saying. Some insist you need a legitimately sourced Ouija board, and others say you can just make your own. I fall into the latter camp, as it doesn't matter what you use, it's all bullshit. Either someone is intentionally moving the planchette to mislead the others, or people are involuntarily moving it due to their unconscious thoughts. It's called the idiomotor phenomenon. Anytime I make statements like these, I invariably come under attack in the comments by a small minority of loonies who believe in all this paranormal stuff. Is there more to this world than we humans can perceive? Sure, maybe. I don't necessarily disagree with that. But you can't talk to a ghost with a piece of wood, you scooby-doo ass motherfucker. Also, Ouija is a Hasbro trademark. The next morning, the four Ghostbusters told the other eight jurors about the experience over breakfast in the hotel. Later that day, they passed the guilty verdict. 
However, one month later, it was made public that the jury had used a fucking Ouija board to determine their verdict. Apparently, a juror had gone to the papers. In light of this information, the Court of Appeal in London granted Stephen Young a retrial with a fresh jury. They also found him guilty. He was given two life sentences. Stephen Young has always maintained his innocence, although it's a little hard to argue with the fact that he was recorded arranging plans with Fuller the day before the murder, the fact that he was filmed in the area, the fact he admits he was at the scene of the crime, and the fact a large sum of money was deposited into his account the very next day. Also, a ghost said he did it. You know, I'm starting to rethink my previous stance on the paranormal. I mean, a ghost did say he was guilty, and he was guilty. So, you know, like, how could the ghost have known that? You know what I mean? Well, let's just see now. Let's get this uh, Ouija board up on the screen here. Okay, everybody put your hands on the planchette. All right. Now, if there are any ghosts watching this video, do you have any messages for us? Oh my God, look, it's moving. I am literally not doing that, guys. It's the ghost. It's, oh my God, look what it's spelling. I'm, I'm seriously not doing this. I am not editing this or anything. You think I would edit this shit flying around the screen spelling out stuff? Hell no, it's nothing to do with me. Look, it's spelling something else. What's that? Oh my god. Well, okay, ghost, if you say so. All right, everybody, the ghost is real. Do as he says. Click the subscribe and the join buttons underneath this video or the ghost will get very, really angry.